Hello! In this poster session, I present a prototype programming environment called Quadrant that allows designing and performing temporal scenarios. These scenarios can be used to trigger cues and control various parameters of live shows and art installations such as audio and video playback, lights or mechatronics. The goal for that environment was to explore ways of bridging the gap between a programming language approach that affords users low-level control and extensibility and a more visual and interactive user experience that can be found in more user-friendly show control softwares. To this end, the environment features a structure editor operating on a syntax tree that intermingles textual tokens and graphical elements such as tempo curves. This is used to edit programs in Quadrant's language, QScore, which is an imperative synchronous language that allows writing concurrent flows of events and applying hierarchical time transformations on them. The scenarios are then compiled to a bytecode that is executed by a virtual machine, managed by a temporal scheduler that maps abstract dates and delays uh, onto real-time using a differential equation solver. Since the editor of the language and the virtual machine are all tightly coupled, the virtual machine can feed runtime information back to the editor, which allows showing important execution and timing information to the user while the scenarios unfold. So let's see how it plays out on a simple example. First, here is the Quadrant Structure Editor where I can write temporal programs. It is important to notice that the program we see here is neither stored nor uh, manipulated as a textual source code. Instead, the editor directly mutates a tree of tokens, and though it is mostly presented as text, we will see in a moment that some tokens also have graphical UI elements. Furthermore, the structuredness of the document and the fact that the editor is aware of the language makes it easier to add user experience improvement on top. The first part of our program is importing networking and OSC modules in order to speak to a Maximus P patch, which is a simple synthesizer. Then we have a few functions that are essentially a pseudo-random node sequence generator. Then we have a helper function that helps playing notes uh, by sending OSC messages to the patch and pausing for the duration of the note. And then we get to the main uh, loop of our program. So first I open a port to send OSC messages to the patch and then we are looping through a random sequence of notes and we are playing each note in turn. So let's run this. You can see here that statements are being highlighted as they are executed and we also have a progress wheel in front of pause instructions that tells us when the program is going to continue. Now suppose we want to add another voice with different durations. We need a way to have two concurrent flows that independently walk through the note sequences. So I'm going to embed that lead voice in a construct called a flow uh, that is essentially creating a um, concurrent task and we will create another flow for the bass voice. Each flow also gives me a value which I can use to wait for the flow to finish. Now we have two concurrent tasks independently walking through node sequences and sending messages to the max patch. Notice also how the wait instruction shows a wait wheel telling us we have blocked waiting for a running flow. Now the last thing I want to show is how we can apply a time transformation on our whole song. So I'll first wrap uh, our two voices in one flow. And I will then add a tempo attribute to that flow and use it with a graphical token that gives us a curve editor. So now we can use that curve editor to add some tempo variations to our flows. That's it for now. I hope this gives you a glimpse of the Quadrant environment and I'd be happy to answer your questions in a few minutes. Enjoy the conference and goodbye.